Are the tool companies watching the old farmer channel for ideas? Let's look at the facts. I want the gold back. He wants the gold back. I want the gold back to the farm. The gold back far away from home. With a milk pail on my arm. I miss the rooster, the one that used to wake me up at 4 a.m. I'm Scott Bame. They call me the old farmer. In video 82 is Harbor Freight making a really big mistake, posted on June 26, 2020. I talked about Harbor Freight giving away the tool batteries in some manner. Why? You can't sell a cordless tool if the customer doesn't have the battery. As I told Mr. Smith in the video, I'm in the Bauer line. You won't be able to sell me cordless Hercules tools. I would buy corded and Hercules accessories, but not cordless Hercules. The link is below. That's why you should give away the batteries for the tools. I suggested package deals with battery and tool. And Harbor Freight listened and offered a $25 savings for a package deal. A small step in the right direction. The more visible tool companies listened, and Ryobi Day shifted their summer campaign to packages that basically offered their batteries for free. The other tool companies started doing the same thing. Whether you buy the battery and get a free tool, or you buy the tool and get a free battery, the package is basically the same. Think of these battery packs as a bag of potato chips, one of the most important food groups in a balanced diet. My rule of thumb is a one-pound bag of potato chips should not be any more expensive than a 10-pound bag of fresh potatoes. Potatoes cost nothing when you buy train loads of potatoes. The store usually doubles the wholesale price, at the minimum, to set what the standard retail price will be for a bag of chips. It's everything else in the process of making potato chips that cost, such as oil, packaging, advertising, insurance, transportation. It's not as cheap with battery packs, but the same principle applies. The major tool companies are selling their batteries between $100 and $150. Let's say there are 10 lithium batteries in the battery pack at a couple dollars each. $5 for the controller card and another $5 for the case. At retail prices, the battery pack costs $30. So let's say that battery pack has a price of $15 OEM to the company buying with their own logo displayed, which I think is a little bit of a high estimate. The tools being sold have a good markup built into it. Granted, not as much as the profit on a battery pack. It's worth working deals to get the market invested in your battery packs. One additional consideration is that companies used to do a five-year payoff on initial investment, things such as design and testing. Now it looks like they want a six-month payoff on initial investment. That skyrockets the price. Why do you think new release of medications cost so much? So I guess I'm not impressed when a tool company puts a battery pack on sale from $150 and offering it on sale at $125. To me, that's not a good deal. I still see it as a gouge. But, with these summer sales going on, if you need the tools, look at the package price. The price of the batteries are now free, or almost free, no matter how you package the deal. So what do you think? Are the tool companies listening to the old farmer? Size of the channel does not matter. It's what you say on the channel that matters. And I like to see companies make a good profit, but not gouge us. 
Now that you know a little bit about pricing, do you think Festool is pricing their tools fairly? You decide. But if you want, I'll sell you a can of baked beans at $150, half my normal price of $300. Is it a good deal? It is for me. Well, this is the old farmer, Scott Bain. Be well, be safe, and have a great summer. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.